Hi, folks. Welcome, everybody. However many there are. Hello. Thanks for joining Hi. us. Uh, I'm in the upper left. Beth in the upper right. Cindy, lower left. Jennifer, from the east coast there on the lower right. Yes, <laughs> it's a full house tonight. Yay. Hi. Um, uh, we got a bunch of stuff. If, if you do not have pen and paper, go get one right now because uh, we're going to help you spend some money tonight and you're going to want to write some things down. So uh, get something to write with and have it handy. Um, what I have on my list will at least make you one or two notes and then, you know, you know we always come up with other things. So um, <laughs> uh, do that. Uh, get the drawing out of the way right away. Uh, let me get all my gear here together. And... Um, uh, tonight, or the, the winners uh, from the last last time, the threads that uh, Robin Rosignol gave us, and there are more to come of those. You probably already got them, uh, but last time, uh, just for the record, Donna Gotts, Peggy Seabolt, Phyllis Lundy, Kendra Souter, and Sarah Sartori were our winners. Uh, so that's, um, uh, yes, so I'm sure you uh, got your threads. And if you haven't, they'll be there shortly. Um, Soon. The drawing tonight, uh, compliments of Sassy Jack Stitchery, and uh, more on Sassy Jack's coming up, but that's why the symbol's up there. Kim is uh, uh, making three $50 gift certificates available tonight, and we're doing Ooh. that uh, in memory of Sharon Asplin. Now, Sharon passed away, I, I mentioned it uh, somewhere along the way in, in March, um, but... Uh, uh, Sharon, uh, Mary Kramer sent me an email in March that Sharon Asplin had passed away. She passed away on March 3. And Sharon uh, was a very good customer of Sassy Jack Stitchery and a long time uh, fan and listener of Fiber Talk, like way long time. Um, so uh, uh, in, uh, don't know any details beyond that. But anyway, uh, in memory of her, Tonight, Kim is making three $50 gift certificates to Sassy Jack Stitchery available. So three people tonight will win a $50 gift certificate. Uh, we'll do the drawing after the show. Uh, I'll go through the rules in a minute. And then Kim will send you the digital uh, gift card so that you can use it as you, as you wish. Uh, for those who are new, drawing is for, drawings are for people who uh, participate in the uh, live show only because I do the drawing right after the show. And right down there... Uh, uh, to Cindy's uh, left of her chin there, you send the email to Gary at wetalkfiber.com and then down there under Jennifer's chin, uh, you put in the subject line Sharon. In memory of Sharon Asplin, just put Sharon, don't put anything else, and then in the body of the email, you put your address, your name and your address, then we do the drawing. Do that any time during the show, but I suggest you do it right now so you don't forget. And... Um, uh, get in on this drawing. So three fifty dollars gift certificates, and that is just in time for the reopening of Sassy Jack Stitchery, which we'll get to in a minute because there's a couple, three things to go with that too. Um, so yeah, that'll be on May one. Kim is is yes, finally. Well, Yay! Well, well, she's got to open the store to rest, basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a haul! What a haul. Yeah. Uh, su Sunday's guest, here, let me get this up as I manipulate the things here. Sunday's guest is Sean Fish of Urban Stitches. And she's in England, and black work, as you can tell, black work is the deal. And she does, uh, she has a pretty good parade of uh, black work uh, stitch alongs. And she has one going right now. And she was just a blast. She, she does things a little on the dark side. But uh, then she takes uh, uh, dark side stuff and makes everyday things uh, fun. So really enjoyed uh, talking with her. And um, uh, uh, so that'll be Sunday's guest. And this is just one of, of hers. And then she does, she started out doing these portraits. And uh, this is obviously Muhammad Ali. But um, uh, she, you know, she'll do them for you. If you send a picture, she'll, she'll convert it and then make a, make a black work chart for you. It's one of the things she does, but uh, she, yeah, she's just terrific. And uh, doesn't, very neat. It, yeah, it, it's, I mean, there's some sophistication there, but it looks very approachable. But uh, yeah, she's a lot of fun. So uh, that'll be Sunday's guest, Sean Fish, Urban Stitches. Uh, I believe it's theurbanstitches.com. 
Um, next Wednesday will be a podcast. Uh, and then Sunday the 28th, I've got a, a weekend of, I'm not sure how it's all going to work out. So likely that we're going to have to uh, do an encore podcast on the 28th. Or if things don't work out and there's no podcast, don't freak out. Uh, it just means I couldn't pull it off. So um, uh, the 28th will be um, uh, either an encore or a uh, uh, or no podcast. So don't just don't freak out. Everything is okay. Don't send a bunch of emails. Everything's good. Uh, just just one of those weekends where I just can't. I, I, I'm having trouble seeing a path to getting something posted. So. Um, so that uh, that's next Sunday, and then the fifth, the fifth of May, we are going to have. This is going to be special. Um, it, it not going to be. It is special. Uh, uh, Beth and I recorded with uh, three ladies: uh, Susan K. Williams, and uh, Gemma and Ann, from the Royal School of Needlework, and we did an hour and twenty minutes or so on all the work that the uh, Royal School did for the coronation and. Actually, uh, it'll go up on the 5th, and it'll be a day short of a, a one year since the coronation, because it was the 6th of May wow. last year, so we timed that pretty well. But, um, uh, so we talk about this, this is one of the chairs, one of the two chairs we talk about, and uh, the Royal School, they did all this work, they, they got a design handed to them, and did all this work, and we talk in some detail about this. But I, I put these up just because I want you to see the needlework. Now understand that, that uh, these things are worked on by multiple people at, at one time. So this is not one person doing all the stitching. It's multiple people over days, people in and out. And because they're so skilled and everyone is trained the same way, uh, you can pull this stuff off at this level of sophistication and it doesn't look like two or three people stitched it. But... Um, uh, wow just stunning and then they had to do this uh on the chair back they had to make this fit in this uh was it brocade is that right beth yeah um yeah. damask is it damask. damask yeah they had to make it fit so it would fit centered in this in this big flowered thing there and this was special material made for it and we tell the whole story but it's um it's just impressive embroidery it really is yeah. And, and uh, it was very interesting to talk to them and, and get all the backstory and, and how they, it was just fascinating. And yeah. look at that piece. That's a fast, beautiful. This one's the stunner here. This is the anointing screen. This, this was created for the uh, coronation from scratch. Uh, three panels and uh, obviously the main panel. And then right here, you, this is a cross. And there is a cross on each side, inside and outside. So they had to, they had to stitch five panels plus the... Uh, star at the top and then assemble all this and then they had to uh, uh, get it so it would attach to these poles and, and stand up and then they had to do a whole other mock-up so they could practice with it while they were putting the, the real thing together and mm -hmm. uh, uh, just a fascinating thing and we, so we get the whole story behind the anointing screen and how to make how they made it and how they made it come together and um, uh, yeah it's, it's so cool and then uh, mm -hmm. this is the, the Queen's robe holy smokes this all new, yeah. all gold work. Wow. wow. Yeah. It's, I should have probably pulled another. But yeah, I mean, you know, dandelion seeds coming off the dandelion. This is all gold work. And what they said yeah. a good, what would they say? Some of it is, is essentially. Um, Some of it's not attached. Some of it's, right. you know, loose for lack of, I mean, like it's not. Um, like, not all attached down. It's very modern, uh, yeah. even though it, even though it's very tr looks very traditional in some ways. It looks very modern in others. Yeah, so, like these wings of great this insect, job. they're not attached. They're not attached. Mm -hmm. they're, they're lifted mm -hmm. up. Yeah. And what what was oh, it? So there's some stump work. Yeah, stump work. That's the yeah. There's, yeah. Some, there's some modified <laughs> stump work. Yeah. Thank you, Cindy. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, yeah, modified. I mean, obviously they have to be careful how much they do because it's got to be able to be moved around and in and out of the carriage and everything. But um, yeah, we get to hear about this. This thing is, this is not the full length one. This thing is, is uh, what, uh, three meters. So uh, right. what, 
three or four meters. It's, it's a long stinking thing. Um, but yeah, they designed the whole thing, uh, stem to stern, stitched it all. And this is uh, Anne and Gemma, the two ladies who oversaw the entire project. And so we get to hear about what they went through to uh, get ready for the coronation. Uh, all the, we get to see all, all the pieces that they uh, put together, either restoration or renovation because they've been in storage since the last coronation, or in this case, new, completely new stuff. Uh, just absolutely amazing. Right. So that'll be um, on the 5th of May, and it's a video. So I show you these pictures, but we recorded a video. So when, when you see it, uh, I'm going to pull the audio tracks, and I will make a regular audio podcast, and you'll get a lot out of it. And then on the page for the podcast, I will put all the photos up as a slideshow. So you can see them there. Uh, I can only put 10 photos on Instagram, so I, uh, I'll just put up what I can. But then, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the, the video will be on our YouTube channel. So you can go and watch the whole thing. Uh, uh, I mean, mostly it's kind of what we do here uh, on Wednesday nights where we have pictures up and we're kind of moving around, but, but the, the ladies are talking. And, um, uh, but anyway, that came out. It was, it was quite an undertaking to pull it off. Yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> I, it was, yeah, it was, it was an undertaking. They, and of course at the Royal School, they're just phenomenal people. Absolutely. Brenna Black, who is the uh, uh, marketing and, and uh, PR person, she is just one of the best, and I've worked with a ton of them with the mag trade magazines, and she is absolutely one of the best at making things happen. And these ladies, and, and of course, Dr. Uh, Susan K. Williams, um, I mean, she just knows so much. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, every time we've talked to her, she just, when it comes to history, it's just, she just goes. She has no notes, right. no nothing. She just goes. It's, it's mind-blowing. Um, wow. So... Uh, that will be the 5th. That will be on the 5th. Um, so you'll want to uh, uh, catch that for sure. Make a note. And let's see. Now I'm going to put up, because there's one more thing here. And this is one you're going to want to write down. Okay. Because Susan has written a book. And you, uh, mm -hmm. it, you're going you're gonna to want to... Um, you're going to want to do this here. Let me move this out of the way. So it's the unbroken thread. Uh, uh, you can read it, 150 years of Royal School of New York. So, so this, this is the history of the Royal School, but now, now available is a new one, a new a second edition that has a whole chapter devoted to the coronation and the work they did. Oh, and wow. uh, you, you can go to, I put this up here, accartbooks.com. And I went there today. And just put in, just search for uh, Susan K. Williams, K. Hyphen Williams, and it'll come up. And you can't buy from there, but it, it gives you a drop down of all the places that have the book. And uh, one is, of course, Amazon, but there are other booksellers that have it. They're the book is 50 bucks um, on, Am on Amazon, and there was one left when I looked this afternoon. But uh, they just finished not too long ago this second edition with the chapter. And in the U.S., that's the only one you can get, so you don't have to worry about getting the first edition. The uh, second edition with the chapter on the coronation is all you can get. Uh, but Amazon said more are coming, and I'm sure that uh, the others either have them or have more on the way because they just uh, finished with this, this second edition. So if you're interested in that, um, uh, you can start at accartbooks.com uh, or just go to um, uh, Amazon. If you search for Susan K. Williams, that's probably going to be the fastest way to find it because I truly doubt there are uh, very many uh, with a name spelled like that. So, um, uh, but write that down and uh, you, you'll want to check that out. Of course, it's Royal School Books and they're always top, top drawer anyway. Um, right. But uh, yeah, so you want, to, you want to put that on your list of things. Make a nice birthday or Christmas gift, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, so that's coming up Sunday the 5th. Sunday the 5th. Um, oh man, I, w when we got done here, uh, yeah, there, that's good. That's good placement here. I'll just put it right there. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> when, when we got done, uh, oh, I was, I was pumped up. That was so cool. Yeah, it, yeah. And they, and, uh, you know, all the images, you really have to watch this one. It is 
the images are fantastic and they were um, so interesting and so um, had so much information to share. It was great. It was just great. But, yeah. Yeah. It was. Yep. Um, uh, Deb, Deb, I, I hear you. Just sit tight. We're, um, uh, we'll get to you. Just relax. <laughs> um, we're we're going to try an experiment tonight. All right. That's driving me nuts here. I can't have that. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. We'll put it up there. There we um, go. Got to rearrange. Uh, we're trying an experiment tonight. We'll get to it in a little bit. Uh, I wanted to... Um, one experiment is getting me in focus. There we go. Yeah. Um, I've been wanting to try this. So Deb DeCrane is going to join us uh, and talk about um, um, Huck embroidery again, uh, follow up to what Cindy did last time. Uh, but what we're, the experiment is to have people pop in for a few minutes in the middle of a show. So we're going to give that a try. And um, uh, uh, with Deb, who is our, she's our uh, official guinea pig for this thing. So we'll get to her in a little bit. Um, she got, uh, she, she must've cut yoga off early cause it was, we said after seven 30 and, and, uh, she's here, here now. She so, so the, the yoga people <laughs> got the, got the hurry up and get out routine then <laughs> move along. Yep. Um, all right. So sassy Jack stitcher, you know, we've talked a thousand times about, uh, sassy jacks and, uh, the reopening and, um, may one is the grand reopening. And then uh, Kim has things planned through the entire month of, of uh, May to celebrate the reopening. And I put Everett, this is her husband, Everett, who I'm pretty sure this thing, without him, this thing doesn't even come close to happening. He's, he's just one of the great guys I've ever met. Uh, if you get to travel to um, uh, Sassy Jacks, I hope he's around so you can meet him. But um, uh, the stories that she's told about all that he's had to go through to, to get that house so it would meet all the codes and things and build and rebuild and so on and so forth are, uh, are endless. So I put his picture up there, just uh, this was, they, they just had an anniversary or something. And so, um, but that's Everett uh, Ponder, Kim's husband. Um, so shake his hand and say thanks if you ever get to uh, Sassy Jack's because um, uh, not to shortchange Kim, but uh, Everett, yeah, move small mountains for a long time. Yeah. So, um, and then, so, so uh, starting May 1, now, what you want to do to stay on top of, of what Kim's got going is you want to get on the newsletter list. And you go to the homepage, sassyjackstitchery.com, and uh, you get on the um, uh, newsletter list, and then you'll get, you'll get all of the uh, things that are going on in May to celebrate the grand reopening of Sassy Jack Stitchery in their, in their forever home. Uh, so uh, do that. And then on May 4, and you're going to have to act quick on this, I'm sure, because if Kim isn't already sending out kits, I'm sure she wants to very quickly. But on May 4, there's going to be, this is an online, um, uh, online workshop. Class. Thank you. Class. I can't, obviously, I'm, I'm trying to juggle too many things is what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, on, online uh, workshop with Jeanette Douglas and uh, it's going to be this one here uh, Stitches Be Sweet this sampler and there's a, a, another a small that goes with it and um, uh, so you can sign up for that it's 250 bucks and that's your linen silks and shipping uh, plus you know class costs uh, send email to Kim at sjsclasses at gmail.com up here in the upper left. This is another one you want to write down. sjsclasses at gmail.com uh, to sign up. Don't call. She's too busy getting the shop uh, go, re lined up and getting things stocked and everything. So don't call for her to answer the phone. She'd never get anything done. So send email to sjsclasses at gmail.com and, and to register. And this is a Zoom class with Jeanette Douglas, who is just absolutely one of the best. And this is the um, uh, sampler that will be the main piece in the class. Uh, so that May 4, uh, Saturday, 2 to 5 Eastern Time. 2 to 5 Eastern Time on May 4 via Zoom. And then uh, if, you, if you're in the area, let Kim know, and she will have some space set up so you can go there and stitch live with uh, Jeanette on the TV. So keep that in mind if you're in the area and want to go to the shop. Um, 
just let, let Kim know, same address, sjsclasses at gmail.com, and then uh, she'll make it so that uh, people can come and stitch live during the class. Um, and then there'll be several Zoom stitch-ins afterwards so that you can uh, all work together on the, on the sampler, and then there's some smalls that go with this. Um, so, so send that in, do it right away, make a note, do it right away so that Kim has time to ship his stuff so you have it by May 4, because we're already, what, April 17, believe it or not. So um, uh, act quickly, but uh, uh, that's, that's a cool sampler. You want to be in on that. So 250 yeah. bucks. that's linen, silks, class, everything. Right. And that's, and that's cheap when you think of a workshop with um, Jeanette Douglas, um, you know, fabulous um, ability to take a class with an international teacher of high caliber. You know, and you could do it in your own home, in your jammies if you want, you know. <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> no, see, no, that makes it really nice. You know, you can go get your cup of coffee, sit around, be in your cozy clothes. I'm telling you. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. So those are all the things that we're writing down so far. Um, other things will come along, I'm sure. And uh, so let's get Deb to crane in here and see how our experiment works. And I don't know. I'm just going to add her in and see what happens. Hi. There's Deb. There Hi, she Deb. is. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the sampler name is uh, Stitches Be Sweet. I could not find it on Jeanette's website. I looked today. I could not find it. Uh, it's probably because it's a workshop uh, uh, thing and she doesn't put it on her thing to buy on our website to buy, but Stitches Be Sweet is the sampler name. Um, oh, Josie's asking twice. Josie, uh, this... <laughs> uh, I'll leave her alone. <laughs> okay, so uh, last time, two weeks ago, we had a... Uh, so uh, I'm going to leave these uh, addresses up there so you can write them down, but uh, it's going to get cluttered here. It already is cluttered. So. Um, uh, two weeks ago, uh, uh, Cindy did a tremendous thing for us on uh, Huck embroidery, and then Deb uh, came along, and she had some pieces, and I'll let Deb tell the story, because I, I forget the story and didn't write it down. But uh, I said, hey, let's, uh, let's talk about them on, on the show, so she was kind enough to send them. And uh, uh, Deb, can we hear you? Say something. Say can hi. Can you hear me? Yep. Can perfect. you hear me? Well played. Yeah. All right. Yay. So, okay, okay. so t tell the stories. Okay. When I was growing up, my grandmother, uh, who was a farm, a farm wife with not a lot of income and stuff, she, this was what she loved to do. She did this huck weaving or huck towel. I, I think she called it, I remember her calling it like Swedish weaving. So I don't know if it's, I assume it's all names for pretty much the same thing. And this is probably one of my favorite pieces that she did. Most of them were dresser scarves that were, that are, you know, made for like a full triple dresser. And I started, I uh, would use them as dresser scarves. And then I kind of got away from that. And I started, I needed something to cover my stitching with. Cause I have a frame downstairs by the couch and I've got a frame up here in my stitching room and pieces when I travel, you know, I want to wrap around. So I would use these dresser scarves and I'd use like magnets, like the little bitty magnets to hold them on front and back to the work. And it would keep, you know, the bugs and the dust and the, you know, dirt and stuff off my pieces or the sun, even, you know, a lot of sunlight could damage them. Not to say but there's I, any dust in your house. Cause we know better than that, but you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, Anyway, and so she would she would sit and do these and basically she would have the huck toweling, you know, by I think probably by the fabric off of the roll from probably the local fabric store in Gellsburg. And then she had the um, I assume they were like an iron on pattern that came in books and stuff and you could take them out and lay them on and iron them on with the dry iron. And then, and knowing her, she used them multiple times. You know, she got every ounce of life out of everything. And then, so basically you were sewing on a printed piece of this. And I can remember she used a hoop. I'm pretty sure that she, you know, she would put it in a hoop. 
And then what she, I was just looking at it today when Gary asked me to do this and her stitching is done and she's using a pearl cotton. And I can remember her always having, you know, balls of thread, you know, the, the DMC balls of thread to do. And that's what she would do. And this is like the front and the back. And maybe Cindy talked about this last time, but you see, you don't see that surface work, the fill stitch, the filling in stitches on the back. This is just where she's she did would do a, like a stem stitch border around the pieces. And sometimes she'd add a few French knots or something, whatever she wanted to throw in. But she would, um, when she was done, she would crochet that border, that edging. Well, she that was, like that was my first question was, what is this border? How does this work? <laughs> yeah, she she folded it under and she had a really fine crochet hook and she crocheted that around the edging she, and you know it's, it's barely folded under and then you can see where and i can remember her doing those two doing that uh crocheted border on it that edge and she loved variegated so as you can tell on this one this is my favorite one is and it's smaller it'd be for like a lamp table or something but because there is so much color and then she would go, you know, back and forth and catch those high spots in the fabric with that variegated thread. Yeah, this is like Cindy was showing us last time, where you can see the thread is is just underneath the the um, yeah. floats. They call them float. Thank you. Yes. Good thing you guys yes. are here to remember the words, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's kind of, you know, it's a dying art unless you can find you know, like some of the printed pattern, you know, the patterns that you can iron on still and, or maybe pieces that that were printed. But I, I know she, grandma probably got a lot of it at Hirschner's and grandma lived to be 99. She passed in, wow. in 2004. And she did this, I think this she would do because she had macula de degeneration. And this was one of the last forms of stitching she would do because I think it was big enough. You know, it was a little bit bigger and she could see or kind of fudge. But, um, and the funny part was, you know, I can remember as a, I was a little kid and she was doing these and she was accumulating them. And then she'd give me, you know, a couple at a time and say, this is for your hope chest. <laughs> now the gals nowadays have no clue what a hope chest is. <laughs> <laughs> but that my grandmother would do this. She'd make them for me. And typically my mom and my aunt would get them for like birthday presents and stuff. Cause she could sit here and, you know, and do those. And uh, like I say, it was pretty basic stitching, you know, the stem stitch and she'd throw in some French knots and here she's got a running, there's a running stitch you can see around the leaves. And then, but all of them were done and had that crocheted edge. You know, that's how she hemmed it. She didn't take a sewing machine or anything. Those are all, that's all with her huh. her uh, crochet thread. And these were three of them. I've got, I know I've got more of them, but I, I had already sent Gary the pictures. And then, Gary, did I send you one that's got birds on it? Uh, I don't I don't recall. These are the only three that you sent that I recall. Okay. And then I've got one I can hold up if you like. There's a, oh, a okay. basket of flowers and the birds. Hang on. On it. It's a real long one. It's a real long one. So oh, you wow. see that. The oh, bird. nice. And I'm sure, you know, she picked the colors. You know, she picked the colors. And you can, this one, she scalloped, you know, like the edge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, with the crochet. <laughs> and then it's a big white spot. You know, empty spot in the middle. This is like half of it. You know, this is half. But yeah. I would they dress her scarves, and I used them and used them and used them, and I just you know, and she would be so proud. You know, being you know, growing up in the depression and all that. You know, you used everything to the right. last, and um, but this was something that she could afford to do, and she church bazaars. You know, she'd have a stack of them for a church, for the, yeah. their church bazaar, their little country Presbyterian church. You know, she'd make them for that. So lots of good memories. And I hope that people feel like that if they can use them, 
Yeah. Yeah. Because, well, and, because it is. It's yeah. I mean, it, it's, the that. memories, but they're also in tremendous shape. I mean, they really have held yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. And I wash them on gentle when I do it. And then I'll, um, I, some, I'll press them from the backside, you know, with an iron if I need to. Mm-hmm. But she, um, like I say, she would be just thrilled to death, thrilled to death that, that we would do that. Yeah. You know, that we would would actually use them. And so sometimes cool. she would use them, you know, like when you sit in a chair and you have like the things for the arms, the mm-hmm. arm covers <laughs> and the back of the chair, you know, so you didn't wear it. They would have right. that. Oh, anti can I show one little thing? I, yep, sure. Hey, we're here all night. Take your time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to guess that the iron-on patterns that she was using were not for a Swedish weaving, that they were probably surface embroidery. Oh, okay. And oh, then she, okay. And then she mm-hmm. used it. I mean, I think that's brilliant. They're was, beautiful. Was, was the other, was it was the hucktailing patterns, were they, was that accounted work then? Or yes. was it? Uh, yes. See, I didn't know that. I just knew how, I didn't have any background. And, and, I just and wish- actually, there's a uh, monk's cloth lady has a new book with new uh-huh. patterns in it. Oh, so. okay. Oh, that's oh, go. I'm so glad to hear that. That you know, Grandma kind of did that on her own, I guess. And then <laughs> this is just one thing I wanted to show because this is my grandma. She took pieces of fabric, and they're pot holders. Oh, okay. and she yes. embroidered the faces. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. And I have, I have three of them which initially I was going to do for my three grandchildren, but now I have seven grandkids and one more on the way. So I don't have enough of them. But, I need to make them. but these, and I'm sure there's a piece of worn flannel, you know, that's inside. Yeah. I mean, they right. just reused and reused. And that's how I was raised was to, but there's, you know, three oh, different. Those are cute. Wow, those adorable. are great. It's oh, that, really bright red. Yeah. It doesn't show up, but yeah, but just little things like that, that are, that are treasures. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. I just, I enjoyed, thank you for asking me, Gary, to do yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. No, that's I, cool I, stuff. Yeah. 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 And then she's got just regular, she does have, Cindy, she does have others, dresser scarves that are just stem stitch, French, French knots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I did notice on one that she's got some lazy daisy that she used oh. on one of these flowers in the, hmm. um, I can't find it now. But on some of these, the, the pansies, she's got some lazy daisies. But um, yeah, she's got others that don't have, that weren't on the, what you, you call it, monk's cloth or huck towel the, or whatever. The, web, the website is called monk's cloth lady. Monk's cloth is the, the really big, I, I think Robin said it's like six or seven. Mm to the inch and it makes a uh, really nice afghans and you use yarn on it instead of like pearl cotton okay. or something like that. It, yeah. Um, yeah. I actually was in Joanne's a couple days ago and they had a piece of monk's cloth. Mm-hmm. I was amazed. Okay. But it comes had that uh, for and years. what they had was beige. It comes in a bunch of different colors, I think. Uh huh. Well, maybe some yeah. of these older, you know, what we consider older uh, arts are coming back. And I think that's wonderful. Yeah. There's yeah, a website. We put this up and we talk about Monk's Cloth Lady, and now she's closed starting tomorrow until May 3. So, <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> big help yeah. there. Yeah. 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 But yeah. She, they do have a, a good selection of patterns and some books with designs in them. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of one of our friends just got the new book. I didn't have a chance mm-hmm. to look at it, but it looks, you know, just briefly, it looks like it has some nice d- patterns mm-hmm. in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's great. There That's we go. Great. Well, Deb, thanks. Oh, uh, somebody commented about your t-shirt. So now we got to see about your t-shirt here. I yes, know, I, I, have gold, I have a golden retriever and it's count your blossoms. And my golden retriever's name is Blossom. Oh, oh so cute. okay. I found it. Yeah. Well played. Yep. One of my favorites. Yep. Well played. <laughs> yep. And it was really cute. Yeah. I was like, oh, I love a t-shirt. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> nice. Right. Thanks, Deb. Thanks for uh, being a guinea pig and for sharing that. It's very cool stuff. Hey. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You're very welcome. Anytime. All right. Thanks <laughs> a lot. Bye. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. Hey, that worked okay. Oh, that, that was, was good. Cool. Yeah. Ooh, Man, that stuff, yeah. you know, for how old it is, it's beautiful. I mean, it, it doesn't show any mm -hmm. wear or fading or anything. It's gorgeous. No. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It is meant to be used. You know, that was the, the nice thing about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Very cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. So floaters, floaters. I just got to remember. Flo no, floats. <laughs> Floats. No Earth. Oh, floaters, floaters is the eye thing. Floaters is the eye thing. Or those pulley thing, or other things. Those are floaties. Float. Those are floaties, right? Sure. Now I got to make a list. Something. See, yeah. oh floaties, floaters, and floats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Do that thing where you demonstrate the floaties, though, Jennifer. That was really cool. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> my specialty demonstrating things you know yeah well i can see a skill there mm -hmm. yeah. yeah they're probably great at charades <laughs> i don't think you ever played charades <laughs> i don't know uh, all right. Well, uh, that worked, and, and that worked out. That was a little experiment. So we'll do we'll do that more um, as we see opportunities. Have people from the audience just join us uh, live for a little bit. That was fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool little addition. Yep. And then maybe mm -hmm. they won't be so nervous to commit to a whole show. Yeah. 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 There's that. Yes. Right. Yes. All those yep. chickens out there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. And then, uh, no, or no, when Krista West was here and she had, uh, she gave away, um, uh, the work bags and then mm -hmm. the, uh, flourishes. What was that? Uh, oh, the waste I know. the clothing, the clothing thing, something flourishes. Yeah. Yeah. That. So, uh, uh, Nooper Heisey. Folk, folk, folksy flourishes or something. Folks. Somebody look it up it's now. Folk we got to know. Art Somebody look it stuff. up. Stuff. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> Nooper won one of the bags, and when it arrived, she jumped right on it. And so um, uh, uh, she wasn't able to. She's she's having some medical things and put her on your prayer list. She's had a long struggle, uh, but anyway, her voice is not strong tonight, so she couldn't uh, join us. But she's uh, she's here somewhere and uh, happy to answer Peter. questions. But um, uh, this thing is gorgeous. All right, it was folk flourishes. Folk oh, flourishes. Oh, folk. Wow, look at look that. Look at that, huh? Oh, wow, that's pretty. Beautiful. Nice. And obviously chose her own colors, but look at that. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't think she did the same stitching, did she? I can't tell. She just filled in some of the background. And yeah. Okay. The colors a little bit. Yeah, it looks like Nooper. Did, uh, what threads did you use for this? Yeah, it looks like this here. She filled in this where it was white. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did yeah. a little modification. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Well done. All those pretty colors. Her color mm -hmm. choices are gorgeous. Oh, she put. Oh, look at. Look at. All right. Now we got to study this. Because see, she put the uh, little lines there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> she really doctored it up. Nice going. Well, now I'm looking at all the things she changed. Filled <laughs> in here. Yeah. Wow. It, it looks like a tile. So much like a, I mean... Yep. It does. So did, you know, Krista's did too, but this really sets it off. And it mm -hmm. shows you what you can do with just a stamped embroidery piece. Mm -hmm. right. Now, of course, Nooper has a lot of skill, so, you know, there's another thing, but. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. Yeah. Okay, use you did use stitches. your own. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, do you use the same colors as in the kit? No. Okay. No. No way. Well, yeah, you can see it's the same ones, and she just changed them up and. Yep. Well, and added don't more photography. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, Krista 
makes a big effort to make sure her photographs are well lit and all of that. Right. So it's and then when you gonna fill look in maybe a little brighter there. When you fill in around all that gold, it'll make the gold look darker because right. you've taken the white away from the, the edges. But this speaks right. to how much thread you get in one of those kits too, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. You won't come up short at all. Wow, that's so cool. I didn't piece that together. I thought she just had her own threads and everything. Well, it oh, comes oh, with oh. the threads, right? Yeah, it no, I mean, I thought she yeah. just chose her own colors, but no, I see them now. Wow, she's sending me an email, so I'm going to put us back <laughs> on screen so I can get the email. And I have a cat that needs to be given attention to just one moment, please. One moment, please. I'm going to mute myself because I've got to take my headphones off. Sophie's okay, just sleeping. That's quite fine. Uh, let's see. Okay, bear with me a second. Uh, because I got all the, all the entries for the drawing here. I got oh. I got to weed through them to find Nooper's email. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Cat. Oh, and she still has thread left over. Wow. Um, this is exciting, um, uh, stuff here. It's not here <laughs> yet. Yet. It's taken a while. Yeah. Well, there we go. Yeah. I'm just looking at, um, well, it was folk flourishes was the other thing you were looking at. And what's nice is on her, on Krista's site is, you know, you can get, get a two pack, you can get large, small, you know, um, I just think it's it's very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Come on, picture. <laughs> uh. And I just love it that it comes with the hoop and everything. Yeah. Yeah. You just can go. She titled it Avlia-Stitches, if that helps you look for it. All right. No, it's not here yet. <clears throat> Sad. No. Well, it'll show up. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll show it. So. Yes. Oh, you're welcome, Susan. Hold on. Yep. Yep, it'll show up. Probably a big picture and taking a minute. So, yeah. all right. So that's, that's really cool. That's, um, I love those bags anyway. And to be able to stitch them like that is, is a real, real plus. So, um, quite cool. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else we got to talk about? Anybody got anything? Oh, I have all I'm kinds of stitching stuff. on this. Oh, okay. All right. We'll start at bottom right, and we'll, so Jennifer, Cindy, and we'll work our way around. All right, new percent again. All right, we'll get to it when we get to it. When so, we uh, have it, let's see if I have this set up right. Yep. Oh, I still is. Okay, it's all you. So I'm stitching. I'm finally finishing off this background, and I'm stitching. Oh, Normally, yeah. you stitch a binding on, and you make it like really invisible. But this time, I'm deciding to. Um, I don't know if you can see the little stitches to do the same kind of stitching here as on on the binding mm -hmm. since it's not going to be like a used quilt yeah yeah you can kind of see the little stitches and then the heart is here and then it will be attached how are you going to edge the heart I'm not. It's going to stay oh, like that. Okay. It's just going to stay raw edged. Cool. How will you attach it? I am going to put some buttons on and then I'm going to make some sort of cording or might, I might go and, um, I bet you I have some 
I know I've got some yarn that I spun that mm -hmm. is purple and blue that I can use to make loop -dees to put mm -hmm. the, to loop -dee it with the buttons. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Cause I know I've got some yarn that I spun a long time ago. That'll be perfect. And I know I have some left over. And you won't need much. No, not at all. So I've just been doing that. I've been doing lots of spinning and I started an O for the, my home, the housewifeys, the O in the home. Oh yeah. Stitching with the housewives. Yep. It's the Daisy one. So I started that Chelsea had her baby. Anybody who's a housewifey fan, Chelsea had a baby on tax day. Lost on me. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yep. <laughs> baby Zinnia. Zinnia? Anyway, ta-da. Like the flower? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Favorite. What's on your fingers? Oh, my thimble. Just, oh, okay. That's my little, it's I a make leather my one? own little, yeah, I make oh. my own thimbles. Of course you do. I can never get them. Yeah, well. <laughs> I've gone through so many and I can never get them that they fit right or, you know, so I just make my own. You buy those, those sheets of leather from Joann's or wherever, any craft store, you slice it how long you want it and you use glue and you just make a thimble. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Got a couple more questions for you. Okay. Did you design oh. the heart or was it a kit? Yes. No, I made this up made it up on my own. I followed a fabric weaving tutorial from K3N Cloth Tales on YouTube. And I had the idea to then cut it into a heart. But it's her fabric weaving tutorial that I used, that I followed to get me started. So. All right, and one more question. Did you ever spin cat or dog hair? No, and I had I had Persian cats with really long hair for like a long time. And and you comb them, their hair would have been great to spin, but they passed way before I ever started spinning. So here's some of my my yarn that I oh, pretty. finished this one. Ooh. And this is I still like some that. single I have left over. I don't know what, I might triple ply that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. I don't know. But so, this is the... It's beautiful. It is. <laughs> I just it's display fun. it like that. I just set that on the table and just call that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, and then the other stuff I have up there is really pretty too. Here. Hi, Sophie. I know, she's sleeping. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that pretty? Oh yeah. I love it. Wow. There's Beautiful. the peanut child. So and nice. So and that's nice. kind of all because you know we've been busy running around looking at houses. None of them have worked out yet. But we're still looking. Yep. And I'm leaving to go to Cancun on Saturday. So Oh there's Ooh. way to suffer. Way to suffer. Oh man, life that's is rough. Bad. Uh, you know, with my mom, uh, Yuri and Sophie are staying home. It's me and my mom and my aunt and uh oh, girls trip. My brother and his family. Oh, and not just my girls. niece. Yeah. No, not just girls, but mostly sounds like yeah, mostly, <laughs> mostly. So, but that's well, be kind fun. of all. I've been doing a lot of knitting and spinning and working on this. Okay, I think it's really cool. Really, I really nice. love. <laughs> now, is this just, is, is this headed to a wall to hang on a wall or what's the plan? It's going to, I have a little quilt, a little mini quilt hanger and I'll hang it up like um, in January and February. Oh, okay. And then the rest of the year it'll be in the cupboard. Yeah. It's pretty though, huh? I like yeah. it. Yeah, it is. I know, it's yeah, really nice. Out great, yep. Yeah, that's nice. it's all, all mine. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, um, that's it. Okay, what I love to sew. 1910 Red Eye. Oh, good for you. That's a good one to start on. Um, several uh, Facebook groups, just look for Singer or uh, Sewing Machine Restoration. 
There's four or five. They're all very good. Uh, the guy you want to follow on YouTube is Bob Fowler, F-O-W-L-E-R. Um, he's just, just fantastic at uh, showing how to uh, fix things, tear them apart, put them back together, clean them, and so on. Uh, Bob Fowler on, on uh, YouTube. And his wife, uh, I, I think it's, I think, I don't know if it's her side hustle or her main job, but she, for a long time, she's a, um, a woodwind instrument repair person. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, yeah. But Bob Fowler. And then uh, Prometheon Sewing. It's Prometheon. That, that's the, all I pay attention to is Prometheon Sewing. She, uh, she's very good at showing you how to strip them to the metal and repaint them. And she does a lot of creative things and she's a lot of fun. But um, those are all, the algorithm will feed those all to you. But start with Bob Fowler, and he's got several on uh, 66s on how to work with those. Uh, something that I have torn apart on my bench right now is a 66. <laughs> um, but uh, he's fantastic. And, and give me a call or send an email or something, and, and I can uh, be happy to talk to you about it um, anytime. But uh, yeah, Bob Fowler, and then join, there's at least four groups on Facebook and they're all good and you can sit there and spend way too many hours reading what people are doing with machines. It's, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. It's uh, big time stuff and be careful because uh, <laughs> I just bought my sixth one yesterday. No uh -oh. way. Oh. <laughs> Did you find oh. a treadle? No. <laughs> huh? Oh, I have a treadle one. Did you find one. a machine? Oh, you have a treadle. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh my. That's the one I'm working on right now. That's going in the treadle. And then I just ordered a, um, a crank from England, not the cheap oh. Chinese. The, there's, you can get cheap Chinese ones for like 20 bucks. But I got an official Singer one, which are very hard to find. And I got it for less than half what I would pay most places from a lady who is selling it. So that's on its way. And so I'm going to do one of those because Sharon Bruce in Ireland, she has a, a vintage Singer. singer that she uses for all her finishing and it's a hand crank. So oh she's gosh. still, she, she has, well, it, if you look at, at, at some of her pictures, she'll put it in the pictures and that's a hand crank. She actually sews with that all the time. And when I saw that hand crank on there, I had to have an official singer hand crank. So I've been looking oh, no. high and low and I found the lady in England who uh, had a couple of them. So one's on the way. Um, oh my gosh. Cause they're really expensive, but yeah, it's yeah. It's out of control. The, the one that I'm working on right now is I stripped down all the way to the metal and I'm going to repaint it and put new decals on it and fix it up and try to try to make it as new as possible. And then that's going in the treadle machine and all the iron work, the treadle iron work, I'm going to have sandblasted and painted. And um, yeah, yeah. And who's going to sew on these machines? Uh, well, that's coming up here. That one's coming up here. I finished the first one. Uh -huh. The first one's a 1591. I finished that. Really happy with it. Um, and that's downstairs in a cabinet, redid the cabinet and everything. Uh, that's downstairs and I'm going to find someone, I'm hoping it can be a, a migrant person who's mm -hmm. trying to either sew for a family or make a living sewing and needs a good machine that'll straight stitch all day long. Whoops, we lost Jennifer. Um, uh -oh. uh, come back, Jennifer. I know, Whatever. I'm here. Yuri okay. was trying to call me. He knows I'm doing this. Oh. Uh, so I'm hoping to, that through, through our church, they have an a organization they work with that uh, helps migrant people. And mm -hmm. so I'm hoping that I can find someone who can use it because I don't want it to show up in a Goodwill store, you know? I mean, I, right. I gutted mm -hmm. that thing, cleaned it up. It's, it's polished. It's everything. And I would like it to go to somebody who's going to use it and, and try to wear it out. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm just give, I'm just going to give it away. I'm not going to sell it. You know, they can have it. Right. Nice. Um, so that's my plan for that one. But the uh, the treadle one, yeah, that's going to get uh, that's getting the full metal deal, and that's coming up here and just going to sit in the room. Yeah. So you know, quilt stores. A lot of quilt stores have um, featherweight um, yes. clubs. Yeah. So you could go and learn to sew. Calm down, Jennifer. Calm down. Because I mean, you're buying all these machines and you're not a sewer. It's like, calm down, it's, Jennifer. It's, it's all about the machine. You know, I, I understand. I totally understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And 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 Edna, I agree. We need a show dedicated to the sewing mach machine re restoration. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can do yeah, that. Just do like 
they do little clips or something even, and that would be fun. That would be fun. Oh, look, she, he's rolling. He's yeah, rolling. He right. won't get into spinning because he doesn't want to get all the, the wood tools, but he's no, buying that machines isn't why. like crazy. That isn't why. I don't want to get into spinning because I know I'll get all the tools. Because that <laughs> that thing you got sitting over there off your right shoulder just makes me drool. That's such beautiful woodwork. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, no. Yeah, and Robin wants... <laughs> Yeah, do we need to do intervention is what Robin wants to know. Don't don't worry. My <laughs> wife, uh, Marga, is already uh, handling that part. Don't. Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, no, weren't you, you limited to, goodness. what, two or three machines? Three. That you, right, she was. There is a mute button for you, Cindy. There, there's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can mute you so fast. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Uh -huh. Out of control. Yeah, it. Uh, yeah. Well, I, yeah. I hate seeing that history. You know, it, I, I just it, it's history, and I, I just don't. I'd buy a bunch more, but I got no place to put them, and I'm not. No, I'd be in trouble. Um, so, but yeah, the, the, yeah. this My. this one is. Uh, oh, and and last night, I should I I should have been stitching, but I wanted to work on this machine. And last night, there's a little, uh, what they call a grub screw. So it's just a threaded little shank with a screw slot that goes in and holds a piece in place on the main shaft. And it's, it's all of maybe a, maybe a quarter of an inch long. And I was cleaning it. I dropped that sucker. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I spent, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating, I spent four solid hours trying to find that thing. And our basement oh is gosh. not cluttered at all. I mean, it's, there's nothing. There's nothing on the floors. Stuff isn't piled up. Nothing. I could not find it. I just oh, oh no. it was driving me nuts. And and it's uh, uh, actually uh, 66. I'm I'm working on a 66 over on the side. This is a 127. Turns out finding those screws for a 127 is darn near impossible. So I had to find it. So today uh, we had a Bible class at church, and on the way home I got a, a magnet telescoping magnet, mm -hmm. waved it under my workbench. In 30 seconds, I had it. It had <laughs> fallen, it had fallen into a divot in the punk in the concrete. Oh. And my, my broom, my broom was just sweeping over the top of it. 30 seconds, I, I felt it thunk. Ah, yes, got it. <laughs> but you know, cause, cause I was looking at having to spend 50 bucks for a main shaft just to get this little Mm -hmm. piece and you know that's yeah. crazy so you're so. turning into a quilter already because we all have those little wandies to pick that's up right pins and no. stuff no. <laughs> so, and, we're, and, we're, and we're gonna I take a break for needles that i draw <laughs> yeah yeah harbor freight six bucks <laughs> yeah harbor freight but mm -hmm. uh we're um uh the sewing machines are going to take a break though because Beth sent me Oh yeah. Beth sent me the cloth I need for uh, Elizabethan treasures. Oh. Yeah. I'm good to go. Yeah. What were we doing? Uh, well, I know oh, that we was were, Thursday we were, night we were doing that. I was yeah. trying to find yeah, this we're, stuff. Yeah. You were yeah. trying to find it and then and then I I knew I had the kit and I pulled mine and I my threads didn't look good on that fabric and I thought I have fabric. Yep. Yeah, right there. that's a beautiful piece, and I don't think that picture does any no, justice. Not even close. So because once you start reading the instructions, it's like that's all in there, and then you look at the picture, and you're like, that doesn't. Yeah. Nah, there's no way. Yep. So I have that. Um, so that's going on the um, slate frame, and uh, yeah, I'm pumped up about that. And then Robin had asked uh, what I I referred to a companion piece for that, and, and I, I made that part up. I, I, there's no official companion piece to nothing. But, um, uh, whoops, now I've got thread all over the floor. Uh, but what I was talking about, Robin, is this one from um, Darlene Osteen, Needles Praise. This is the, um, the English Whitework Sampler. Oh. It's, a, again, a really bad picture. But that's all done with uh, Ecru Pearl Cotton um, 12 and 12 eight. and no. No? Oh, tad, the tatting. 80, oh. the tatting. Oh, cor probably Cordonet or something similar. 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It says 80 on it. What do I know? Yeah. Smaller so that's going than, that's going on there. Pearl cotton. That's have, why he's got two projects to start. Well, I have crazy visions that uh, these two would look great side, side by each on a wall. Don't you think? They probably would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All ecru. Yeah. Everything all yeah. ecru. I think so. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Josie wants to know what threads you're using for the other for the. Uh, it's um. Uh, Elizabeth and Treasures. Eight, eight and twelve, eight and twelve ecru, and then this is um, uh, Swa Cristal by Karen Collection. Karen Collection Swa Silk. It's a silk. I don't know if you can get it anymore. I don't know. Yeah, you can. Can you? You can. Okay. Oh, good, because I'm I'm going to get another skein just in case, so I can be an idiot and screw up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, if you have yeah. to re do reverse stitching, yeah. Yeah, that. Oh, Sandy, me too. That white work, English white work sampler. Mm. Um, yeah, that's, Elizabethan that's Treasures is um, you have to. I think you have to get the Elizabethan Treasures from the attic. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure. That's where I got it. Linda Berry, Linda Berry, uh, Elizabethan Treasures. Focus. Come on. And mine's downstairs or I'd show it, but I, I put mine away. <laughs> What's the deal? Let's go. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Thank you. There. Linda Berry. And yeah, that's where I got mine is at the attic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think she keeps these in stock, um, just as a rule. So, so those are the two. Yeah, Sandy, we need a stitch along, don't we? <laughs> and he's like, no. And then I was looking for something else, and uh, so that uh, oh. that's coming up on the board too. Yep. Good. The the fiber talk version, the blue fiber talk version, which reminds me, I got to contact her again. We got to do a show with with uh, Karen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, oh, and I saw Edna. And uh, if you notice on the opening, I have not been using the official logo. I've been using uh, a different thing. And Edna Sanabia was, I, I noticed, is in the audience. Thanks again. I, I'm, yeah. I put this, this is right by my um, main working computer that all the time. That is so cool. It's just yeah. the coolest thing. I love thing. that. Yep. Yeah, I've been okay. using it for the logo lately, but um, I'm so it. glad to have that. I can't tell you, Edna, how much I appreciate awesome. what you did here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Very cool. Yeah, that's what I was rolling over to get. Yeah, Edna did that. It's <laughs> a lot of tight Oops, stitching nice. in there, I'm telling you right now. That was good. Yeah. 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 Really proud of that. Thank you. So, um, okay, we got everything. Okay, go, Cindy. Wait, let me. <laughs> okay. Let me make sure. Yep, we got you. Okay. Okay, I finished pumpkins. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, cute. Sparkly cute. fabric. Oh. Oh. Okay, Are you okay? That, was <laughs> that wasn't me. Everybody all right? Yeah, that was... Uh... Yeah, go, go ahead. I'll uh, catch up. Okay. Um, these are um, Autumn Minis by um, Waxing Moon Designs. And they will be finished like this. Oh, are you finishing them yourself? Yes. Oh, nice. And I have this nice wool Oh. for the backing. And I haven't decided which beads I'm going to use yet. They are uh, just under three and a half inches. They're a little big for an ornament, but... They have pumpkins on them, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very cute. And I've been working on Fibonacci swirls. Oh, oh right. yours is looking like nice. Wow. They can see the metallic. Oh, yeah. In the center there. Good choice of colors on this. Yeah, I'm real happy with it. Yeah, that's really nice. Are you going to do one on Congress cloth? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not hearing enthusiasm. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> well, so we probably are going to do it for as a project for our face to face chapter. So okay. I will do it again, but I don't know. I haven't decided what I'll do it on. And then I'm working on carrots by Jennifer oh. Riefenberg. Oh, yeah, I love her. Yes. Th those that whole series she did are really cool. Oh, yes. Cool. Do you have yeah. the pumpkins one from her? No, I have I do have the beets and the radishes. Oh. But I don't have the pumpkins. And this is one that I started a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So I put it on my whip go board. So I good work on it. Yeah, those are and, cool. And then uh, our now that's counted canvas, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For mm -hmm. folks who uh, 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 think that counted canvas is always just geometrics, yeah, check that out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and. And her choice, what, the reason I, I have her pumpkin thing is her, her coloring, her colors. Uh huh. She, her, that's what you learn doing those, the carrots and the beets, right? There's color, um, wait, what is the word I'm looking for? Color, theory. not a color wheel. Theory, thank you. Can't find words today, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's yeah. all about. I, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, color she, theory. She talks, talks about the, uh, they're all, uh, the the three carrots, beets, and radishes are uh, uh, analogous. Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, Thanks. They're yeah. monochromatic, uh, but mo all in monochromatic. It. Yeah, the colors are uh, close together on the color wheel. I mm -hmm. think that's analogous. That's analogous. So. Okay, and then <laughs> this is the project that we're working on in our the blue ribbon chapter face to face chapter this is pattern darning it's called um, dreaming of spring and it's by susan jones it was in the january 2016 needle pointers here's the back oh oh i'd make that the front holy smokes nice well, that's the characteristic of pattern darning. The back is the reverse of the front. <laughs> Pretty. I've never done pattern darning, so I will, yeah. Uh, I like that. You know, it's just up and down. <laughs> uh, counting. I, I've had a terrible time with all of the green stuff. I've messed that up and all of these, so many times I had to, go get another spool of thread. Uh, this is on Congress cloth and I'm using number eight pearl. Mm -hmm. And most of my threads are wonder fill. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. um, and Ivy, the designer for the carrots and pumpkins is Jennifer, let's see, Reifenberg. 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 Yeah, Reifenberg. 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 Yeah. So here's the Oh, that's the green. Oh, okay. It, so okay, so a where did you? A little bit of variegation. Where'd you find it? That's a woolen needle. Oh, of course. Oh, okay. Uh huh. And then the last two, <laughs> she calls these flower beds. The last two beds will be yellow. Oh. And purple. Oh, mm. oh pretty. Nice. So is that wonderful? Is that color fast like DMC? I don't know. Aren't they? Uh, aren't they usually like a thread, like quilting thread? Why do I? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But they they so the first time I so found probably. this, um, Sue Spargo's, mm. uh, some of her thread is wonderful, oh, okay. and she has uh, five. Oh, let's see. Five, eight, and twelve. Hmm. And you know, the solids and a lot of um, variegated ones. Right. The uh Wonderfill that Woolen Needle has, they only have an eight. And if you look on Wonderfill's website, it's only it's called Eleganza. Which oh is what yes. Sue Spargos is. Yes. And Eleganza is their number eight. 
And right. then they've got, I think they've got a 12, but the colors don't match. Hmm. And with Sue Spargo, you can get a color in all three weights, which is really right. nice. Mm. And these are Valdani. Right. Yeah, I've used Valdani. Is that a three, a three ply ball? No, these are oh, uh, those are pearls. pearls. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, I Valdani have the, comes I also in have the, the three plies that are used for punch needle. Yep. And uh, right. And then they also, yeah. they also come in uh, 12, eight and right. 12, I think. So, yeah, and I, I haven't paid any attention to the color fastness because I'm not going to wash this, obviously. Right. <laughs> but I think Wonderful, since they make quilting stuff, probably is then. I would, I would guess. It's a really yeah. nice thread to work with. Yeah, I've. I've used some of it in, I, I recognize the Eleganza name. Yeah. Because well, I that's have what some Sue of it Spargo's in my embroidery book. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I have a non-stitching project that I sucked Beth mm -hmm. into. Yes. She <laughs> sucked me right in. That's a low bar. <laughs> this is cartonage. Oh, cool. Wait um, a minute. It's an on online wow. course yeah and it's this week but i think you can you can sign up for it anytime if you want if you if you do it now and it's uh color arts where is it colorway arts if you if you sign up now you get you can do it for free through the end of april yeah but 28 it access, ends the 28 28 if you want access to it for a year, it's a whole seventeen dollars. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and nice. and so it's all it's all just glue. Mm -hmm. It's glued on. And I'm very she excited. Has, <laughs> she has kits. <laughs> so okay, wait. Kit. Let's back up the trucking. So, so so we got a fiber board <laughs> of some kind and cloth. It's chip, chip see, board. This is not fair. This is isn't that just oh, what's not fair? with cloth basically. Yeah, she uses the glue. Yeah, she uses glue yeah. and glues it on. And she has some tricks. So there, yes. Tips. The uh, this is the hundred point chipboard, and then there's um, some poster board in the kit. The kit doesn't come with fabric. You have to have your own. You have to have your own fabric. And then there's also. Um, this is the lid slide. Oh, that'll off. be a problem for Jennifer. She doesn't have any quilting fabric. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Oh, gee. <laughs> so this is a sliding lid box, and the kit has a little knob in it, too. Okay, so we're we're taking cloth and wrapping it around these things and building a box then. Yes. Cool. So here here's uh, here's my cloth. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Oh, cool. And then I'm going to use these for the lid and uh, inside. Oh, man, that's yeah, going to that be should... nice. So you still, you think it's going to be too big, your print? We were discussing this before we got on I, air. I, I think so because, well, so this is the widest piece of card. Mm -hmm. and oh yeah too bad it's gonna it's gonna cut off everything yeah yeah but i i also have this. to the rescue comes <laughs> yeah periodic table that's fun yeah and this one isn't suitable at all, but it's it's fun fabric. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Physics, chemistry. Oh, I like okay. that. Yeah. Where'd you find this? I like those fabrics just for fun. Where'd you find online. them? Online. The usual online routine. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I googled science quilting fabric. <laughs> and I've had them for a while. I don't know if you could get these same ones still. 
but actually you can find some really cool fabrics when you do that. Uh, there's all kinds of themes, you know, space and whatever. Anyway, um, I hopefully will have a box done by our next live show. All right. Beth is going traveling, so she won't. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> unless I get unless I get my act together and just you know buckle down. I would pay buckle big down. money to see you gluing fabric on boards in a car, Beth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my yeah, my husband would be like, ouch. Ouch! <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd pay big money. You're to missing see that. all the scenery. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> Ouch! Anyway, I no glue I in thought, the car. So, uh, you know, EGA had a class last year. A, it was a cartonnage class, but you mm -hmm. had to embroider the top of the box. And I think didn't somebody in your chapter do that, Beth? Um, she's actually it just started. Um, she signed up for it. Yeah, she's not just not started working on it. But yeah, and I think okay. I'm sure it's not glued. I'm guessing it's stitched together. Um, Might be. But, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I and the this woman that teaches this class says, you know, people ask, is is the chipboard and the glue acid free? And um, they're not, technically. Turns out, though, she's a food scientist by training. She doesn't do it anymore. But she set up a little lab in her kitchen and tested all of these materials, including the glue. She bought a pH meter. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're not that far off. And in fact, something I ran across not too long ago said that Elmer's glue is less has less acid than acid free glue. Really? They just don't want to pay to have it rated as acid free. Oh. <laughs> so there you have it. Now that's uh, good to but, know. You know, yeah. <laughs> and she has a book with lots of different ideas in it and uh, lots of different um, kits. So, you know, you can buy the chipboard from her uh, or get it you know, wherever, Amazon, whatever, and cut it yourself. Uh, but she does have kits for lots of different boxes. So mm -hmm. you buy the kit, and then you don't have to worry about cutting the chipboard. Yeah. Right. Right. And and I think what's interesting about one of the reasons that this sucked me in was, you know, finishing is incredibly expensive, as we all know. And, you know, wall space, you know, where are you going to hang it? But something that's useful that you can um, put put things in a box is just I thought this is fantastic. So yeah, I'm um, I'm excited. I'm hoping this. I, I don't mind gluing doing the gluing thing here. <laughs> don't well, glue myself guessing, to the. <laughs> I'm guessing assembly of your casket is going to be pretty similar. Yeah, mm -hmm. it it is. I yeah. Everyone we all, we've been we whine about that constantly when we talk about it. It's just like. And, and there's someone who just finished gluing hers together, and she was like, stop your whining and just do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what she told us. <laughs> well, you know, when you, when you think about it, they didn't have acid-free glue. I mean, they no. probably used animal glue. Yeah, yeah wheat paste. You know, whenever they did those. Yeah. And, and they're still, so, they're a still lot there. of them are still in good shape. Yeah. Yeah. So, yep. all right, we got to move along. We got to get to best stuff, but let me put up. Um, uh, this oh. is Nooper uh, sent uh, oh, the yeah. log jam broke. Oh, so okay. here, I'll move this. Whoops, oops, that oh. wasn't the plan. <laughs> nice. So there. Yeah. So that's at the one twenty three minute, one hour twenty three minute mark, for those who want to look it up later. But there's what she did. Oh, that's great. That yeah, is thanks, great. Snooper. Yeah. Beautiful. It worked well out done. so cool. Yep. There we have it. Okay. Beth, what do you got? Just a minute. Here. That... I, got, I got all, I got to get Beth 
here. There's Beth. I Get rid of this there. Hi. I think for my my box, I'm going to use this butterfly Ooh. print and then this map print. I, like I think that. those two. I think those will work. I have other yeah. choices in case it doesn't, but you know, I have to find my box again and <laughs> I put it somewhere. It's, like, it's, it's hidden. It's hidden. But I've been working on my. Um, oh yeah, the clock oh, thing. Oh yeah. yeah. The clock thing, and so I'm to I'm to April. I've just started working on April, so I'm I'm now officially a month behind. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's good. And great. I did. Yeah, I did find the um, clock piece. So now um, I just need to figure out the center and then ma I'll make a little cluster and block when I get there. And then I have been diligently working on, you can't see it. It's going to blow out. Oh, nice. oh, there. No, it's, it's all right. Oh, right there. nice. Man, that's great. So uh -huh. um, to anyone, again, working on it, I highly recommend working on the brocade because I have done... Um, on this one, I've done two layers. It has needs a third and the beads. And so this is needs another layer, silver, and the beads. Oh, good. So Kim's been working on hers, too. Good, good. <laughs> no, I need oh, to get no, mine maybe. out, too. Oh, I think she's been working on her, um, her modern folk embroidery piece. And the other piece I'm working on, oh. just so people can see it, is um, Trisha Nguyen's 17th century, mm. oh, it's upside down, band. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. This is, so, so we have to do a bunch in here, and then we do colored needle lace when we get down. And mm -hmm. I, I moved mine to 45 count instead of the 53, 63, because I, I just couldn't get it to work for me. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really pretty. So, yep. so mm -hmm. Montenegrin, Montenegrin, oh it's working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. Oh, did I lose a needle? Yeah, oh, no. It no, it's here. <laughs> I got it. I know where it is. So that's Ooh, what I've been working on. Are, All right. The boxes are from Colorway Arts. Mm-hmm. Here, hold that up again, Cindy. Yeah. I just put it in a bag, and so let me get it out. Uh, shop at colorwayarts.com. Back it up yeah. just a bit. There we go. Yeah, she's... Oh, it, Grand Haven, it, Michigan. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Grand cool. Haven. All right. We need to stop. <laughs> what type of frame are you oh, using, Oh, we're Beth? having so much fun. I know. But we need to stop. Um... I don't remember what this is. What is this? <laughs> Search for that on, on Google, Josie. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I got it. It does tighten pretty good, but not super, super tight. But I'm not picky about that. But I can't remember the name of it. It looks like I, an Artisan Designs. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Artisan Design. Yes, but we have to say we can't recommend them anymore yeah the, the old yeah because they had to change the wood on them they couldn't on get the, the wood and i've got on the rollers i have an old one and i think i can get it i can get it tighter than this but i don't need it tighter yeah. than this it works yeah because the ones i bought the the on the long one in particular oh, it, right. the wood's too soft and it sags right in yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's too yeah, bad not good hmm. yep yeah they can't get the birch that they used yeah from what uh russia or something wasn't it baltic oh. baltic birch i think is what yeah. it's called yeah yeah Too bad. yep so if you have an old one keep it right valuable okay we gotta we gotta quit all right upper left sjs classes at gmail.com that registers you for the um uh, jeanette douglas zoom thing that happens may 4 at sassy jack stitchery Sassy, uh, do it quickly, though, so Kim can get you the materials in time. Uh, mm -hmm. Send email. Do not call the shop about this because Kim doesn't have time because she, she does want the shop open in her lifetime. So 
send email and she'll get you on the list. ACC Art Books gets you the uh, Susan K. Williams Royal School of Needlework book with the new chapter on the coronation and that'll be May 5 for us. And send your email right away to get in on the drawing for three fifty dollar gift certificates from Sassy Jack Stitchery. Thanks so much Kim for making those available to us. Uh, mm -hmm. Send the email address there. Uh, put Sharon in the subject line, name and address in the body of the email, and no, Sandy, I couldn't, I gave up. No solution for to make those stiffer. Nope, didn't work. Had to quit. So, sorry. All right, folks, uh, Sunday Urban Stitches, Sean Fish, a uh, fascinating black work designer and uh, quite a lady, quite a story. So don't miss that. Thanks, everybody. Bye. We're out. Bye. Bye.